Hi everyone, I'm Monica of Heartcraft Paper. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use digital images for your planner. Here I'm utilizing Publisher in order to import my image. I can easily move around my image anywhere that I want it to print and this is actually quite easy. You can do this with the Word as well, but I find Publisher is much easier. One of the great things about digital images is that you can resize them to any size that you would like. Um, so here I'm just going to lay them out the way that I want them printed and I'll be set to print. For this project I use full sheet sticker paper from online labels. This is my go-to sticker sheets. I have my images already printed and as you can see I have two of varying sizes. They look amazing. I used a pre-used sheet that I had that I cut off half the bottom for. So we're ready to go. Now I'm just going to go ahead and start coloring in. For this project I wanted to create two dark haired beauties. So I'm utilizing blacks and grays for the hair. And for me, typically, I do like utilizing Prismacolor pencils or some type of color pencil in order to create a little bit more definition. So this helps especially in the hair. For the skin color, I'm going to use my go-to colors. Now all the details will be in the description below. You can click on the link, you can head over to my website and you'll see all the color listings as well. But I did want to give her a nice sun-kissed look. So I went in pretty heavy with the darker colors. Once we have all the coloring done, we're going to be ready to start cutting out our image. And I just fussy cut around this. There's different ways that you can actually do this. This is one of the easiest ways because not everybody has a die cutting machine. For the sentiment, I'm gonna use these banner dies in order to cut it out. Now I use the second from the last, which is the second from the smallest in order to die cut this. I'm gonna add in some color to this with cracked pistachio and just blend that in there along the edges. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and add some more uh, Distress Oxide in the color of Evergreen Bow. You'll want to be gentle with this process so you don't lift up the sticker from the backing. Next, I'm going to create a grass masking. Now, I'm going to keep both the negative and the positive. Here, I am using the positive to mask off the grass area while I daub in some color with tumbled grass as my sky. I'm going to blend this color all the way to the very top. This particular sheet measures 1.75 by 6. Now time to use the negative of the grass. As you can see, I left the other masking in place so that I can line this up perfectly and then I will remove it. For this, I'm going to use Mold Lawn Distress Oxide in order to color in the grass. We're now ready to start planning. I'm going to use this cloud themed washi tape from Doodlebug. This cloud themed washi tape is from Doodlebug. Now anytime I'm utilizing my washi tape, I like to have my blade handy as this makes a nice, clean, straight cut. Now you don't want to press too hard when you're utilizing your blade. Since the washi is fairly thin, you just have to simply cut through very lightly and then peel away. And you'll have the perfect cut every single time. Now I'm going to use this beautiful grass border that I have. It's got little flowers. Here you see me using whiteout to remove the font. Now that is because this washi tape has a white background and it will show through. So this is a very easy way to remove that without creating any issues. Every once in a while I do have a little trouble with the washi tape, 
But you know, that's the thing with washi tape. It's pretty forgiving. You can simply lift it up and place it right on back. Now it's time to add my sky border over my notes. The best thing about this is that I can just simply peel away the backing and stick it on there. This is where I'm going to add my sentiment. Just peel the backing and stick it down. Always take the scenic route. Next, I'm going to stick down the larger of the two images right onto that background. Again, this is such an easy way to add a personalized touch to your plan. Another thing that I like to add are inspirational quotes. And this is Live in the Sunshine. This fit perfectly with the theme that I had here of the young adventurer going out into the sun. And as you can see, plenty of grass here. And I also found this washi that was inspirational as well. And I think this really did fit this theme as well. You're probably wondering what I'm gonna be doing with the other little girl here. Now I decided that I also wanted to have her here on the weekend and I figured I'd have her floating up above the sentiment. One more inspirational quote and we're good to go. We've just finished up our project. I do hope you enjoyed. For more videos and tutorials like these, don't forget to subscribe. Visit the blog for more information at www.hardcraftpaper.com. Thanks for watching Hardcraft Paper.